Welcome to RAM Training. I'm Grant McKenzie and let's talk about RAM Map. Because now, when you log into RAM, RAM Map opens and whatever RAM data you were working on in your last session, it's offered to you so that you can continue where you left off. RAM is now task-based rather than module-based, so it's easier for the casual user to understand and to operate. Now let's say that your first task today is to give your inspectors a map showing asphalt footpaths greater than 20 years old. Watch this. When the map is zoomed right out, the assets are clustered. And when you zoom in, they resolve to their actual shape. Now I'm going to show you this at actual speed. It really is that quick. To display all your old asphalt footpaths, press the footpath layer. Settings, Filter, Add, Select Material, Asphaltic Concrete Black and Asphaltic Concrete Red, and press Add. Press Add again, type Age into the search, and select it. And the age is greater than or equal to 20. The map is now filtered to show only footpaths made of asphaltic concrete with an age greater than 20 years. Next, you use your browser to print the map, and you'll see that it prints a great deal better in landscape than it does in portrait. Anyway, you can see now how quickly you can perform tasks in RAM map. But wait, there's more. Since we're here, why don't I tell you about layers, adding assets, and exporting the map data. The default light grey footpath colour with the dark grey border looks good on the classic map, but in the satellite map, it's a lot harder to see. And you can fix that by pressing the layer, settings, colour, and choosing a different colour. And once the colour's been applied, the footpaths are a great deal more obvious. Let's talk about selecting assets on the map. Now you select one asset by clicking it. And press the grid icon to see the details. And press the polygon if you want to edit its shape. If you hold down the control key, you can select more one by one, or you can use the select by rectangle or select by lasso to select a bunch of them. And once selected on the map, the assets are also selected in the grid. To add a layer, you press the plus sign just beneath the layer label. You select the layer name and there it is, it's applied. And to get rid of a layer, you click it and press Remove the layer from map. There you go. To export layer data, you click on the layer and then on Export. And you can export just the items in the map boundary, just the items you've selected, or the entire layer. And you can choose between NZMG and WGS84, and the file for export is a GeoJSON file or an XML file. To add an asset, you zoom into the map and then change to the satellite map. You press Add Asset and select the asset type. And then press Next, select Point Line or Polygon, and start drawing on the map. As you can see, I'm drawing a footpath here. Select the road which is to be associated with the new asset. Complete all the details and then save them. And there you go. There's your new asset on the map. So as you can see, RAM map is fast, it's intuitive and it's really easy to use. But there are far more things that you can do and to find out what they are, pause this video and click anywhere to open the web page with links to all of the videos for RAM Grid and RAM Map. Thanks for watching. I'm Grant McKenzie and this has been a RAM Training Production.